Air fryer tandoori chicken is the easiest and fastest way to make authentic looking and tasting tandoori chicken that is slightly charred on the outside yet still tender, juicy and succulent on the inside. And for today's recipe I am using chicken drumsticks but of course you can use chicken legs, chicken wings or even boneless chicken and I have already shared recipes for those which I will link below. But today I will specifically focus on everything that you need to do to make tandoori chicken in the air fryer. Get that char while still being tender and juicy and not drying out. So let's get started. Here I have 2 pounds of chicken drumsticks that I have cleaned, discarded the fat and patted dry using a paper towel to get rid of any excess liquid. And as you can see I have also made some small gashes across the drumsticks so that I can fill it up with marinade later. So that's just how to prep the chicken. Then start with making the tenderizer. For which in a small bowl or container, take 2 tablespoons of lemon juice and a teaspoon of salt and mix them together till they are well combined. Apply this to the chicken, ensuring to coat all the pieces well. Soaking the chicken in this lemon and salt mix really helps to keep the chicken moist, no matter which way you decide to cook the chicken later. And let the chicken soak in this mix for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And while the chicken is soaking in this mix, you can start to make the main tandoori masala marinade. For which in a bowl take half a cup of yogurt, 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, half a tablespoon of tandoori masala powder, then half a tablespoon each of garam masala and coriander powder, and half a teaspoon each of cumin and chaat masala, and one and a half tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder, a tablespoon of kasuri methi, half a teaspoon of salt, half a tablespoon of corn flour and one and a half tablespoon of oil. Then mix everything together to make a smooth paste like marinade. And as you see and I have shared in earlier videos, I use more spice powders than just tandoori masala powder to make this marinade because this blend of spices is what I have found to work really well together, especially if you are using all store bought masalas like I am using here. I am still working on a recipe for a homemade tandoori masala powder that I like enough to use just that with say yogurt, salt and oil. I will share it when it's ready but until then this blend of store bought masalas works really well. Now before applying this tandoori masala marinade to the chicken, first strain out all the excess liquid from the tenderizer that we applied to it earlier. You really don't need all that excess liquid. Then apply the tandoori masala marinade to the chicken, ensuring to coat all the pieces well. And even filling in some marinade in the gashes made earlier. And then let the chicken marinate for at least 4-6 to six hours. Even better if you can let it marinate overnight or say for 12-24 to up to 24 hours. Now to make these tandoori chicken drumsticks in the air fryer, First preheat the air fryer at 400 degree Fahrenheit. When done, crease the bottom of the air fryer basket and then place the chicken drumsticks in it. And air fry for about 18 to 20 minutes till done, ensuring to flip once at the halfway point. It's best to always check if the chicken is done using something like a meat thermometer. The internal temperature of the chicken has to be at least 165 degree Fahrenheit for it to be done. And checking the temperature and turning off the air fryer when it's between 165 and 170 degree Fahrenheit also helps to ensure that the chicken doesn't get overcooked, which more often than not is the reason why the chicken dries out in the air fryer. And done. As easy as that, charred yet succulent and ready in just about 18 to 20 minutes which is faster than almost any other cooking method you will go with. However, I feel like I have to share one alternate method using the oven, which is not quite as quick but easy enough and especially helpful if you want to get a bigger batch done in one go, which is usually not possible at least with a regular sized air fryer. For this, preheat the oven to 425 degree Fahrenheit and line a baking tray with parchment paper or foil to catch the drippings. Then place a wire rack in it and grease it. Then place the chicken on the wire rack and bake for about 35 to 40 minutes till done, ensuring to flip the chicken once at the halfway point. And again, always best to check the temperature when done. 
to ensure it's cooked through while not getting overcooked. And that's it. Delicious homemade tandoori chicken drumsticks are ready. Serve it with some lachapias, maybe a few lemon wedges and a green chutney tip. I also sometimes like to sprinkle a little chaat masala on top, but that's just personal preference. Try it if you haven't already and enjoy. For the written and printable version of this recipe, check the link in the description box below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button at the bottom of this video. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Until I see you again, happy cooking!